This is Alnatak, part of Orion's belt. Zeta Orionis. The triple star system, guys, 736 light years away from Earth. And this is Alnatak A, because obviously it's a trinary star system that consists of three stars. Blue supergiant of spectral and luminosity type 09b, 26 times bigger than the sun, guys. Alnalam, 375,000 times brighter than the sun. Look at the size of it. This is Alnalam monster blue giant in the future it's supposed to explode it's being studied it's supposed to have a supernova explosion of stellar wind force of 2000 kms and it's supposed to lose mass uh, 20 times faster than the sun uh, this is going to be spectacular but I don't want to be here to see it Almalam also known guys as 46 Ori, abbreviated A, 1340 light years away, 1340 light years away. It's 375,000 times brighter than the sun. This is the 29th brightest star in the sky and it's also the fourth brightest in the constellation of Orion. This can be seen guys at midnight. That's the highest point in the sky that can be seen. Now, let's go take a look at Mintaka over here. Mintaka. This is another different star. There are actually two stars, guys. We're looking at a double star system, also known as Delta Orionis. 915 light years away, guys. So see, the camera is picking this up. This is what is the most amazing to me. This is 90,000 times brighter than the sun. Do you understand this is what's helping me get these images? Or any photographer doing astrophotography? 90,000 times brighter than the sun. These two stars orbit each other in every 5.73 days. These stars are directly over top of the OPH nebula in the constellation of Orion. Let's go take a look at it. It's absolutely amazing. See, there's one that's completely hidden in the behind the tree nebula right here that I can see out of the three beautiful super blue giants. Triple binary, double binary, single star. These are giants, guys. And I'm really happy that I was able to use a real deep space photo that I was able to to get to give you an idea of what they look like beautiful nebula here hiding one of the stars still beautiful to see see the streak beam of light there which is also mentioned in um, the information that I gathered on these magnificent star systems and stars which we call Orion's Belt part of the Dipper guys did you know that small Dipper many astronomers since for hundreds of years have been using this star to uh, these stars to guide themselves and so have ships many hundreds of years ago been guiding themselves with the asterism from the Orion's belt. Just magnificent nebulae. All the colors, isn't it incredible? Imagine what it'd be like traveling through this spectacular. See guys, I got the whole top actually of this photo. It's a nice photo. Stars are far out there in the constellation of Orion. All these beautiful stars. I'll be doing a video also talking about the different colors. Guys, we're seeing this is how you can detect the surface temperatures of every star. This is how NASA detects the surface temperatures of every star by the types of um, the types of stars, the way they're rated. 
so long their color, intensity of heat, etc. Look at that. You don't see all these stars that are behind the, the dipper, you know, Orion's belt. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? It's like we have access to every deep field and every constellation and every light year, no matter how far it is. It's like it's, it's not further out, it's like just beside it. Like this is a couple hundred light years away, this blue star. And the star that's behind it's a couple hundred more light years. And the little one beside that's a couple hundred more light years. So with my tinted glass, I can you can see the stars up nice and close. Look at the stellar, interstellar beam. Look at the lights. Rigel's not far from here either. It's a beautiful star. I made a video of that a couple of weeks back. There's the nebulae up here. You know what? Can you see it? Yeah, you can still see it with a tinted glass. Not as well, but look at that. Isn't that just a magnificent view? hidden by the nebula. The other two are there. Beautiful scene. The great nebula in Orion is down here and as you can see Orion's belt bottom star is right here with the nebula in front of it. That's how close it is to the great nebula in Orion in the constellation. So still vast the constellation. You recognize many of the stars in the constellation of Lyra not far. Look at that guys. Isn't that beautiful? So this is the nebula which is underneath the um, Orion's belt. So as we go back up here, I'll have to scroll up on the page at least once more. And we'll be back up to us. In the constellation of Orion, Orion's Belt, or the Belt of Orion, also known as the Three Kings or Three Sisters. Uh, what it is exactly is an asterism. It's inside the constellation of Orion. It consists of three bright stars, Alnatak, 
Al Nalam, and Mintaka. Imagine my luck that Orion's belt is the best viewed in January around 9 p.m. And 9.15 p.m. on the 10th of January is when I got Orion's belt. So it's about the right time, I guess. That was a strict coincidence and I'm very happy of it. Someone asked me about Orion's belt. I've been looking also into Orion's belt. And today we're going to see a real deep space photo of Orion's belt in the constellation of Orion. So if you're looking for Orion's belt in the night sky, the easiest way to locate it in the night sky is just, there's three stars. Look for three stars that are evenly separated and are 99% all align with themselves. The center one is a bit lower, just a hair lower. Triple star, double star, and we have a lone star, this huge, massive, super giant there in the center. And one of these stars are supposed to swell up, become massively hot, heat it up by its core massive red giant and then a supernova an explosion and it's being studied right now i don't know i don't think that the supernova is going to be this week but still it's in the future i don't think even the near future but they're still studying it and so this is a close view of the bottom of the little dipper also because this is how you can find the constellation of Orion by finding these three symmetrical stars. Um, the center one, the big one, the Galenian, is a bit. photo I used at the beginning of this video is a scale photo of the three stars in Orion's belt. It comes from Wikipedia. I posted the link to the author and the link to the license. In no way does this author endorse me. The music artist for all the music in this video was Kevin McLeod. Go to incompetech.com to see more of the music artists great music the photos in this video are all mine aside for the first one that you saw at the beginning just the graph scale photo